Venice is a very interesting community in that it plays a really critical role in the history of muralism, uh, and in fact, art in Los Angeles. Um, in the turn of the century, in 1904, um, Abbott Kenny's vision was that Venice would become an art community. And artists came from everywhere to live and work here. And for art, throughout its history, it's actually been a critical um, and very important um, site for the beatniks from the 1950s uh, and, and 60s. The Beaverman mural was the first mural in uh, Venice, um, and it was not the last. We actually are standing in the old Venice jail and in front of a mural that I designed in 1977 at the Taller Siqueiros in Cuernavaca. This is a naive early version, the Uprising of Mujeres, shows women's power, the agency of women. An indigenous woman leads a revolt and she carries in her hand the pennies as she works in the fields. And it's basically a social justice work. It's a work that um, also changes the, the central characters from the male empowered figure, the revolutionary, to an indigenous woman who is both spiritual and material as she leads the people into perhaps fairer wages and uh, a better life in California. This has a great relationship to Edward Beaverman who was very influenced by Los Tres Grandes and had a relationship with Diego Rivera and Orozco. And this building actually is the same vintage as the old Venice post office. The show here at Spark uh, that will be opening after the um, LACMA show on Edward Beaverman is called um, Lost Horizons, Mural Dreams of Edward Beaverman. And it's a remarkable show. I've had the great pleasure of going through the drawings and the collection of, of Beaverman. And they are pieces that he dreamed of making. They're murals that were never realized. It will show the continual line of those of us who work in the mural form. Muralism is not an easel painting made large. It's a work made in relatedness, related to the people for which it's painted, related to the place that it's painted in, um, very deeply thoughtful in a public voice. And you'll see that Edward Beaverman was uh, a grand painter in that scale, not only in public voice, but in understanding the social issues that affected America during his time, and really, in a sense, are so relevant still today. In this context, between these two exhibitions, you're going to have an insight into a world that perhaps people don't really know. Um, they understand muralism as, a, as maybe graffiti or spray paint, but it is a form that goes back to the very beginning of man. It is the first art form. The people painted on their walls and their spaces, they decorated their architecture. Muralism is the first art form. And it is a form in highly, when it is highly developed, is one of the most complex and one of the most interesting ways of working as a painter in a relational way, working within a social context, working within a physical context, working with your art as a method of enveloping the people. And that's why I love it so much.
Venice has always been both the honky-tonk and the artist community. The place for the beatniks and the, the, the writers and the poets of, of Los Angeles, but also the place for the, you know, the uh, skateboarders and the surfers and the uh, tourists from everyone, everywhere. So uh, Venice enjoys this kind of ambivalent uh, madness, the place for fine art, high art, but also for the lowest art possible in terms of our posters along the boardwalk, uh, our graffiti on the streets. Um, Beaverman kind of captures that. He begins to capture that within that piece. Um, it's being brought out and placed into a museum and placed into a gallery. It's going to give a whole new audience a vision of that work. 